Hi, uh, this is security downstairs. I have someone here who wants to do a public records request, but doesn't want to show me their ID. Well, they want to show me their ID, but they should cross out everything on it. Hi, yes. Who am I speaking with? Felicia Bravo. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm just. I just wanted to do a. Uh, a public records request. Um, I'm here to photograph and inspect the CAFR. That is a public records request. How is that not a request for public records? So, a request for records is an actual public record. You're as asking for access, which is completely different. Which still is under Florida Statute 119.071. You should definitely read up on that. Not as a public records request. Okay, well, I'll tell you what then. I'm gonna come up there for a public records request. I'm gonna get your last pay stub from 2021. According to the Public Record Acts of Florida, a public records request is defined as a request for all documents, papers, letters, maps, books, tapes, photographs, films, sound recordings, data processing software, or other material, regardless of the physical form, characteristics, or means of transmission, made or received pursuant to law or ordinance, or in connection with the transaction of official business by any agency. A request for access to records is the same as a public records request. Great. Sheriff's Office Deputy Peterson, this land is recorded. How may I help you? Let D3 know that the 13th papa from the other night with the vest on, mm -hmm. the guy that follows us around, mm -hmm. he's back. Yeah, taking pictures. He's got a bulletproof vest on. It says press on the back of it. Yeah, there's been all kind of bulletins on this dude. Okay, cool. Thank you. 10 ish. Yeah, maybe. You need a pass? Yep. So you need a pass to go? Yes, and what reasons for that? Excuse me? And what, what's the reason for that? Because everyone has to be announced to go up. You need a permit to see anybody above the Okay, well, I'm here to do a public records request. A public what? Public records request. Okay, you've got 10 minutes before they open. Oh, okay. And it's on the fourth floor, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So, what do you need to do to get a pass? You need to show your identification. I need to sign you in. And okay. then I'll call them and they'll either come down or I'll let you up. Okay, I was going to say, yeah, they're probably going to have to come down because Florida Statute 119 allows me to make public records requests anonymously. I don't have to provide ID. Come down. Okay. So, you guys make everyone show ID to enter the public building? Anyone that goes upstairs, yes. Okay. Is that like a secured area? Yes. It's a restricted area? It's not restricted. No. no. So, how is it? Yeah, how's it? Only like to see people by appointment. That's, by appointment. that's what they like to see, like to do, or? Well, that's the only way you're going to say it, is if you show your identification and I call and they let you up. So in order to speak with a public official, you have to sign in, you can't just? Yes. Huh. That's uh, so interesting. I, I can't hit that button, you need to swipe in to get up there? Yes. Are we still in the United States or are we in Pyongyang? Out of curiosity, how do you uh, pronounce your last name? Pellegrino. 
Pellegrino, like the water? Sure. Like, like the water. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> what? Yeah, look at this. What does that say? Non-certified? Mm. Um, all police officers are required to be certified under FDLE standards. Chapter 943 of the Florida Statutes, titled Department of Law Enforcement, specifically sections 943.1395 in subsection 1A, states that, quote, the commission shall certify under procedures established by rule, any person for employment or appointment as an officer if the person complies with 943.13, sections 1 through 10. It also states in subsection 1b that the employing agency must comply with 943.133, subsections 2 and 3. The nature of work description on the job posting entails that a non-certified police officer is responsible for enforcing federal, state, and local laws and performing related police activities. However, only certified law enforcement officers in the state of Florida are allowed to perform these duties. This is a direct violation of Chapter 943 of the Florida Statutes and opens not only the state, but the city to potential legal action if one of these non-certified police officers was to detain an individual, conduct a traffic stop, etc. So are they open now? The, what open? the records. Yeah, I'm gonna call. You need the record request, you said? Yes. I signed in, so. You didn't sign in for that. You signed yeah, in I did. For, for that, for the water department. Okay, well then how do, I, how do I sign in for that? Yeah, you have to show me your ID and I sign you in for the book. Okay, well you just said to scan that, so. I didn't tell you to scan anything. You did that on your own. You asked me about a public record request and I said they're going to stop or not. Okay. You want to go upstairs, you can show me your ID and I can call them when they answer, but they're not answering right now. Okay, well, here, I'll show you ID. Hi, this is security downstairs. I have someone here who wants to do a public records request, but doesn't want to show me their ID. Well, they want to show me their ID, but they just crossed out everything on it. But wouldn't you rather come down and put them on the phone? Oh, they so said to send us up. All right. City clerk, sir. City clerk's office. Hi, yes. Who am I speaking with? Felicia Bravo. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm just, I just wanted to do a, uh, a public records request. So am I able to come up? Um, I'm here to photograph and inspect the CAFR. That is a public records request. How is that not a request for public records? Yeah, can you put it on speaker, actually? Sure. So a request for records is an actual public record. You're as asking for access, which is completely different. Which still is under Florida Statute 119.071. You should definitely read up on that. Not as a public records request. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, then. I'm going to come up there for a public records request. I'm going to get your last pay stub from 2021. Great. Is that what you want as a public records request? Yes. Okay. So as soon as we have that available, we'll contact you. Do you have some contact information? Um, I can go up there and provide it. What you can do is you can tell me it over the phone. Mm, actually, I can give it to you in person. I don't want to. Have to I don't have to give it to you over the phone. So we don't have it immediately available. So do you want to just have a seat down and sit downstairs, and then we can bring it to you if it's available today? So I'm not allowed to go upstairs, even though I showed my ID. You didn't show your ID. My you showed your ID cross out. Your ID doesn't have information on it, sir. I, I don't have to under Florida Statute 119 provide you that information. Um, actually, Chapter 119 doesn't address that issue at all. This, that, uh, that's actually, a completely wow. different requirement. I'm sorry, you're, can I get your ID number? 
On page 161 of the Florida Sunshine Manual, it clarifies that Florida Statute 119 does not authorize an agency to require that requests for records be in writing. Attorney General Order 80-57 also establishes that a custodian must honor a request for copies of the record which is sufficient to identify the records desired, whether the request is made in writing, over the phone, or in person, provided the required fees are paid. Page 161 of the Florida Sunshine Manual also states that a person requesting access to or copies of public records may not be required to disclose his or her name, address, telephone number, or the like to the custodian unless the custodian is required by law to obtain this information prior to releasing the records. An inspection of the comprehensive annual financial report or a copy of the city clerk's pay stub does not fall under the requirements for the identification of the requester under Florida Statute 119. So you would like a copy of my um, 2021? Yeah, which, and what's your ID number, your employee ID number? I don't have that right offhand. No, so you're saying that Florida Statute 119 doesn't allow me to make public, or anonymous public records requests? No, I didn't say that at all. Of course you're allowed to make anonymous public records requests. Okay. How are we doing, guys? But you just said no, I couldn't. I did not say that. You literally just did. Well, then can you elaborate on what it was that you just said? What I said is, would you like to provide me with information so I can contact you when we have that record available? But yes, but I'd like to do it verbally and not over the I also said you can have a seat. Okay, well then come down here and I'll give it to you verbally. Well, you're giving it, you would be giving it to me verbally right now because we're speaking. That's okay, but I don't know if this phone's being recorded or not. Can you hold for just one moment? I need you to hold for just one moment. She's on the fourth floor. I'm just here to do a public records request anonymously. But I'd rather do it in person, though. I don't have to do it over the phone. Florida Statute 119 says I don't have to do it and only the methods that you guys prefer. I can give it verbally, orally, face-to-face, -face, electronically. Yeah, this city clerk is unfamiliar with that, though. She told me no. Hi, right, yes? Okay, so that's a public records request for my paycheck stub for my last. Yes. Okay, very good. Yes, and I'd also like to photograph and inspect the uh, the visitor registration. Um, for how long? As long as it takes to photograph it. Like, it shouldn't no, take no, too no. Long. I mean, what span of time? A date range? Oh, like right now? No, no, no. A date range of how far back you want to go. The one that's sitting right here on the desk. Just the sheet that's sitting right there on the desk. Yes, this one. Well, you can't see it, but yes, there's a visitor register book, and I'd like to photograph and inspect it. Okay. That's fine. Okay, cool. Um, may I speak to the guy that you were speaking to before? The uh, security guard, please. Somewhere. Thank you. It's part of public records law. So this is all the people that they violated by forcing them to identify in order to meet with their public officials. They require them to put the date, visitor's name, the address, the time that they're here, and which floor it is that they're going to. So they're literally pulling all their information. You know what the funny thing is? That's a violation of DPPA. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Instead of just their address. Yeah. Do what now? 
So they have all their access codes right there. Miss Castillo? Yeah. <laughs> For the record, can I just get your name and ID, please? Sure. Brooke yeah. LaBelle, 3612. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And you're with Sunrise, please? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. And you can have a seat right there. She's going to be out in a minute, okay? Just one second. You want to stand in front? Oh, you can rather stand in front. That's it. And for the record, can I get your, your name? Okay. Pardon? Miss Lane. McLean? Miss Lane. Oh, Miss Lane. L-A-N-E. All right, thank you. Is that your personal phone? So don't raise that because we're going to get that on your phone. Oh, you're not going to pay Oh, yes. We're going to get that. Yeah, it's actually public record. You're on the clock, are you not? Yeah, Miss Lane. Yeah. <laughs> so, yep. No, see, that's the beauty about not working for the public. But guess what? This is not a city phone. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you, you even if you use. So here, ma'am. Here, ma'am. Here, ma'am. Ma'am. Miss Lane. So I want to kind of educate you a little bit on Florida Statue 119. I don't want to. Well, but you had time to photograph us. I don't, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I, I'm, I don't have any beef with you. I, I just I figured I would kind of inform you just in case something like this ever happens again. You actually using your personal phone and documenting while you're on the clock actually makes that public record. So any text messages, phone call, like call logs, etc., all that stuff is actually public record while you're on the clock. Morning. 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 So. Yeah, the lady was trying to tell me that photographing and inspecting the city CAFR was not a public records request, which clearly is under Florida Statute 119. Yeah, they're, they're going to be coming down and assisting you guys with the request. Cool. Okay. And then just for the record, can I get your name and ID, sure. please? Uh, Blanco 3718. 3718? Yeah. Thank you, sir. And yours? Schlichting. Schlichting, S-C-H-L-I-C-H-T-I-N-G. And then the ID number? 3664. 3664. Thank you so much. Out of curiosity. Oh. <laughs> I think it, yeah, I think it has to close first. Huh. What's an IBM number? That's your ID number. That's um. Oh, that's, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I don't know why some are CCN, some are yeah. IBM. Sorry. Okay. You were the one I spoke to on the phone. No, no, that was no. the city clerk. So you requested the city clerk's last paycheck, which okay. I'm handing to you. Um, and then if there's anything so else we like wow paid her a hundred and eighty one thousand dollars Hi major. Hi. And so then, if there's anything else you'd like to request I'm happy to take your request. Yeah, I was here to photograph and inspect the the CAFR. That was my original request. For oh, the CAFR? Yeah. Okay. But uh, if you want to write down uh, we, we want the pictures or the video. Oh yeah, that's another phone. thing too. She started recording with her phone So I'd like to I'd like a copy of the recording. Okay. Yeah. And then do you guys have a policy about using personal phones while on duty? No, there's no policy against it. Okay. Some, some do, some don't. So. Okay. Um. And then, does this have her? Yeah, Felicia Bravo. Um, and the cafe. Okay, let me go get the cafe. Thank you so much. It's your own personal copy awesome. of the cafe. You can have. Thank one. you so much. Alisa, are you able to? Oh, it's my own personal copy. Yeah, you can keep it. Oh, cool. Thank you. That actually makes this a whole lot easier. Can you email to my um, city email? Okay. Awesome. And so then I'll have to get the video and then I can... Thank you. And then I'll give you an email to send it to. Okay. You want to... Yep. It's S-W-F-L-O-A-P as an offer. O Oscar Alpha Papa. Sorry. Okay. At gmail.com. Okay. And she's just a regular city clerk, right? She's not like a manager or anything? Yeah, she's a manager. Oh, she's a city clerk manager. She okay. is a she is a manager of the department. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay, wow. Why? Because her personal email, her personal address is there. No, 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 oh. no. Just the pay. That's. Oh, she's a charter officer. She's a what? A charter officer. What's that? Um, so we have certain individuals in the city that are hired um, by the city commission. So okay. We have uh, five of those in the city. And okay. Those are all people that already work for the city as well they work for the city but they're hired by the city commission so there's just a select group of individuals okay and what's this gen t1 expr that's the um pension oh, okay so that's how much mm -hmm. they paid into the pension mm -hmm. okay that's, uh right okay cool okay thank you so much all right anything else um uh, just your name my name is emily emily thank you emily it's thank been you. a pleasure nice to see you have a good day, have a good day. Okay. 
Thank you for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, hit the like or dislike button, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on future releases. If you've been a follower for a while, make sure to hit the like or dislike button, share this video, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Memberships are less than a dollar a month, so if you'd like to support the channel, click the join button below. If you'd like to make a one-time contribution, links are available in the description below. If you have a channel and would like to be featured in the description of my future videos, as well as the credit section, please send me an email at swflop at gmail.com. Hello, I'm 13 Papa. Bravo son at the jail. Called in by one of the deputies advising of a 13 male that's wearing a bulletproof vest in a parking garage. Walking up to deputies. Last seen on the third floor. Apparently, uh, we've been out with him before from the other night. Yeah, for, uh, 17, I'll be 51 and any other available units. What do they think? Yeah, you can stay tonight. A little volume. I switched over. I'm sorry. Do you have any, any updates? Thank you. Okay, send the call to any available day shift unit, please. Being the nine, turn up. Three Alpha 31, you can say to me. Yeah, Naples, three Alpha 20, LB 51, 31. Three Alpha 11, three Alpha 10. Great. My computer's not working. Um, I'm near the government center. Can you tell me what's going on? Yeah, Naples. I locked 38 on the side, three Alpha 11. Yeah, uh, 13P wearing a bulletproof vest, so be careful, wait for backup.